Hey, what's up guys? This is my five-year-old Lenovo Lappy, which has Windows 10 and working like hell. It's very laggy, slow performance, bad battery life. So finally, I installed the Chrome OS Flex latest edition on this and boom. This is my brand new Chrome OS Lenovo Lappy with the outstanding performance and the stability. If you want such makeover, then in this video, I will tell you how this developer built of the Chrome OS Flex can be installed on your old PC. We will check whether this OS has all the working features like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, etc. We will see what are the new things we can see in this Chrome OS. But the gaming and the installation of app will be shown in another video. Actually, this OS was released by the Google two months back. But after the installation of this OS, I got the new update version 102.05005 via inbuilt OT updater. At last, I will give my final verdict. Did you need to install this OS instead of Windows OS or not? So you are watching for take now with the further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. You need one pen drive of at least 8 GB size and above USB 2.0 specification. Now connect it to your PC or the laptop. I have given the Chromebook recovery utility extension for the Chrome in the video description. Download and install it in the Chrome app on the Windows. Now tap Chrome extension icon available on the right side of the Chrome application. Chrome will ask for the Google login. So first log into your account. Now we'll see the list of the Chrome extension. Tap on the Chromebook recovery utility extension. Recovery tool will open and it will ask to connect your pen drive to the PC. Now select the device as the Google Chrome OS Flex from the drop down menu in the first tab. In the second product tab, use the Chrome OS Flex developer unstable build. Next, it will ask for the media. It's your connected pen drive. Once you click continue, flashing starts on the pen drive. Once flashing gets completed, now tap done. Keep the pen drive connected to the PC and reboot your PC. While rebooting, continuously press the boot menu key. Here it is F12 for my Lino laptop. You can check your boot menu key from the Google search. Now you'll see the Windows boot menu. From there, select the connected pen drive name. Here it is SanDisk in my case. Once done, PC will boot to the Chrome OS Flex. First, select the language in a setup process. Now it will give you two options, install Chrome OS or let's try the Chrome OS. I recommend you to first test your Chrome OS to check whether it has all the things working or not. Finally, at last, I will tell you how you can permanently install this on your PC. After selecting the test option, connect phone with the Wi-Fi connection because Chrome OS needs the net connection to make the most of the things to work. Now log into your Google account. Next, it will ask for the Google Assistant setup. So finally, our Chrome OS booted. First, I went to the settings and about Chrome OS. There, I got the new update version of 102.05005. It's official day version update. They also added the change log as you can see on the screen. That I will discuss later in the video. You need to tap the update and it will take 10 to 15 minutes to download and install the update. I have not shown that here. Once update completes and the laptop booted again, now first I tested all the hardware items working or not. All the hardware items like the mouse, keyboard, touchpad, etc. All the things are working here. I don't have touchscreen device, but if you have, then you can check also and let us know your device model and the name. Is it working for you or not? Let's take the overview of Chrome OS Flex. Chrome OS is similar to the Android OS. Here we gauge the launcher with the bottom status bar with the pin and the recent application. Just slide upward the status bar and you will get the app drawer. Short swipe will give you the Google search bar with the voice search for any applications, files available in the device and on the web search. Here in the app drawer, we didn't get the Play Store, but all the necessary applications from the Google are inbuilt in the Chrome OS Flex, like Chrome for the browsing, calculator, Google Sheets for the office work, Google Keep, File Manager, Camera, Google Drive, Gmail. As Chrome OS Flex is a Linux based OS, other Linux games or the application can be installable via terminal that I will show you in a different video. To move the status bar, it's also called as the shelf. We can long press on the home screen, there we get the shelf position option. By using that, we can move the shape to the right, left and the bottom position. We can pin any of the application from the app drawer in the status bar. Just drag the app from the app drawer and place it in the status bar. We get the all the pin application in status bar and all the open apps beside them. To customize the home screen, we get the set wallpaper setting in the same option below the shelf position. 
Here we guess the bunch of the material you wallpaper which can't be found in a windows. This will give the amazing look to your device. On the right corner of the shelf, Wi-Fi, battery and the time menu will be found. When you tap on it, we guess the quick setting panel similar to the Android quick setting panel. We guess the Wi-Fi toggle, Bluetooth toggle, do not disturb life notification tile. Screen capture by using this, you can take the screenshot or the screen record of anything on the PC. And you can edit them also. In this new update of 102, who gets the gear icon setting to save this screenshot to the desired location on the PC. In the previous version, it gets stored to the default location of download folder. Bluetooth connections are also working very good. I tested it with my Oppo Ecno M31 earphones. Quality of sound via Bluetooth earphone is very good. At the bottom, who gets the volume and the brightness sliders. All the notification will be situated at the top of the quick setting panel. I tried screencast style in the quick setting panel and it's also working amazing. I connected my Android TV with it. It has some delay in the response, but it's an amazing experience. Let's jump to the setting through the gear icon in the quick setting panel. Here you get the similar Android phone experience. All the tabs like the network, Bluetooth connected devices, accounts were arranged on the left part of the panel. Here I will discuss only some major part of the setting. In the devices, we get some hardware configuration like the mouse, keyboard, display, etc. We can increase the mouse speed, assign the left-right keys of the mouse as a primary button and can enable the reverse calling of the mouse wheel. In the keyboard, we can set the different key shortcuts for the search, control, alter and the escape tabs. In the display tab, we can change the display size. Here I kept it smaller because I like it most but you can increase to the maximum visibility. Who gets the display orientation of 0, 90, 180 and 270 degrees. Who gets the nightlight tab with the color temperature adjustment and nightlight schedule. In the personalization, who gets the device account image, wallpaper and screen saver setting. In the search and the assistant setting, who can enable the Google Assistant voice activation but assistant is not working anywhere in the voice even after its activation. Beside this, who gets the settings like the apps, date and the time language and inputs, printer and scanner, etc. Inside the connected devices, we get the synchronization with the Android phone. If you connect your Chromebook with the Android phone, we can unload the Chromebook device when the Android phone is nearby it. Automatically connect the network of Android device with your Chromebook. Synchronization of all the text messages and notification of Android device on the Chromebook. But I got some verification issue of Android device so I can't able to connect my Chrome OS Flex with it. If you get successful, please mention in the comment section. Let's test the camera and surprisingly it's working. Both the video and the photos are working and the quality is also very good as compared to the Windows cam. As per the new update change log, in the video we are able to shoot the GIFs picture when you record the videos. If you long press the power button, you get the turn off, sign out, lock and the feedback setting. If you lock the device, screen turns off and if you again press the power button, it turns on and we need to log into our account every time to access the Chromebook. So finally, if you think it is worth to install this OS as a permanent OS on the device, on the lock screen at the bottom left corner, we get the install Chrome OS permanently. Now tap this button and just wait for the 15 to 20 minutes. It will install the OS as a main OS, but remember this will wipe all the data on the PC, so take the backup. Later Windows OS can be bootable via boot menu only. If it turns off the device and turn it on again, then it will boot directly to the Chrome OS as a primary OS. So what is my final verdict? If you are using the Edge device with the low end specification and Windows works like hell on them, then go for this OS definitely. Chrome OS is just for the people who do the maximum official and student level works and need the faster device for the basic functions. Chrome OS is very fast OS as compared to the Windows. If you are a hardcore gamer, keep away from this OS because it will not run the heavy games. Chrome OS has the web based games, some are advanced but most of them are low end. People who need the battery friendly OS can install this OS as compared to Windows. This is very lighter and can stand continuous 4 to 5 hours of use as per your battery capacity. That's it guys, if I get the good response, I will create the new video for how to install the apps and the games on this OS and their reviews. So thanks for watching. If I help you, please do like and share this video for the most amazing upcoming content for the PC. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. 
See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.